it's Mike Jones that conducts the um, Great Glen Poppy Run um, be the best military fitness and um, build the course for the run so um, we've been involved in that for the last two years to raise money for the British Legion um, and the a few of the leftover poppies um, that from the course um, combined with um, what the neighbours bought in the street we used to decorate the street to decorate Rosemead well, it was me and my partner thought well what a great idea to um, just to use these poppies and get them put up on the on the lamp posts um, and then we've got a uh, WhatsApp group we have in the street so then all of a sudden of course it popped up in the WhatsApp group where these poppies from, come from what a great idea um, and then they said oh well can you get some more please and we'll donate to the British Legion so that's to say I took a promise off to find some more then and there uh, and get them supplied for the guys in the street. The main reason we I, I put them up, I took upon myself to put them up, was just out of respect for the the guys that we've we've lost and and um, and paid the ultimate sacrifice. So that was the main reason. But then I realised that, that I could easily make quite a bit of money for the British Legion out of it as well. It's a big event in our calendar for be the best military fitness, where we spend the year getting the clients um, fit and um, also um, getting them over, showing them how to clear obstacles, that sort of stuff, um, and then. Then me and my friends, um, Adam Hughes, we go out then and we spend um, several weeks then building the course. This year it was out at dusk. Um, we went out then and built several obstacles across the course. I think you know, in total we had um, about 15 or 16 obstacles across 10k. Um, and then, of course, then um, Mike Jones, the coordinator for the British Legion, then buys um, sells tickets then, um, which all the money then goes to the, to the British Legion. Um, and our clients go out then um, and they thoroughly enjoyed the course. Uh, end of the month now, um, we've decided the, with the range of the, the neighbours in the street that we'll, we'll probably take them off the post, store them then, and then repeat the same process um, in 2018. And make sure people donate again. And donate again, yeah.